April 21st through 27th is National Pediatric Transplant Week, shedding light on the pediatric organ transplant late waiting list. New tonight, one fourth grader from Honesdale is now on the list for a second time, hoping to find a kidney donor. Fox 56's Jake Sarwar joins us live after speaking with the family. Jake. Yeah, and 10 year old Jake Algerio's one kidney is get this smaller than the length of an aspirin tablet, intensifying the need for a transplant. He, he has his own like little personality in the mix of everybody. He's not trying to be like anybody else. Brianne Algerio gleams from ear to ear talking about her son, 10 year old Jake. At first glance, Jake seems like an everyday fourth grader enjoying recess, video games, and getting into an occasional argument with his siblings. But Jake is on the list for a pediatric transplant needing kidneys. He's stage five, and he's been on perineal dialysis to start at two. He's only maybe on a good day at 15%. On a bad day, he could be at seven. A catheter inside Jake's stomach facilitates five hours of dialysis while he sleeps. Five years ago, he received a kidney transplant, but his body rejected it. We didn't have it in 24 hours. They took it out. Um, his body rejected the immune suppressants, um, and then it also was rejecting um, other miscellaneous stuff that was added to the system. On April 16th, his name was reactivated to the national transplant list, with Jake being at a decent spot due to his age, but that could change. To stay on the list, he must undergo monthly blood work, which, according to him, was easier in the beginning. I usually used to move a lot, and then now I don't move a lot for the blood work. Brianne is a certified medical assistant at the Wright Center in Hawley and explains the support she's received, especially as a mom going through a hard time. It's between the resources and, and it's also about the education, you know, so that it's a little more comfortable for me. The burden can be taxing on a parent, but Brianne is happy to know there's a cure. You just can't lose hope. You can't. You just, you're there for that reason and that's it. You know, you're going to do it or you're not. Now, if the family does find a donor that matches everything for Jake, they have just four hours to make it from the Honesdale area down to CHOP in Philadelphia. Reporting live tonight, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first to 10.